Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Yeah! Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. So it's been a lot of stuff going on. We are finally moved out the house. I sold everything, signed the paperwork today. So I feel so much better. Stress is off. Um, I found a place to stay for the next, you know, few weeks. So child, honey, it's been a, it's been a long few days. But I was able to reset up my equipment. So here I am blessing y'all with another podcast. And I got to talk about all this mess that's going on, honey, with Queen Bee, Trick Daddy, and the damn Beehive. Now, if you were a real true Beehive member, you guys know where those memes came from. Play the remix God had did that whole situation with, with the On The Run 2 tour, which was a fabulous tour. I got a chance to go see Beyonce and Jay-Z live in Minneapolis. It was lit. I think the whole damn city came out. So if y'all do not know, Trick Daddy Dollars, or some people call him Trick Daddy No Dollars, honey, I don't know. But um, he was on Clubhouse. Once again, you know, Clubhouse claims that you can't record anything, but yet and still, audio keeps leaking from Clubhouse. So Trick Daddy thought he was in a safe space to sit there and talk shit about Queen Bee, honey, and basically said that she couldn't sing. He threw a lot of salt at Jay-Z. I, I really felt like he has a lot of issues with Jay-Z that he's been wanting to get off his chest for years, honey. And he just decided to do this all via Clubhouse. So basically, Trick Daddy was on there going off, was saying that basically uh, Beyonce can barely sing. He says Jay-Z will never, ever, ever, ever be the greatest rapper alive. And basically, he lucked up because Biggie Smalls died. And that's how he was able to, you know what I'm saying, look up and become Jay-Z. So let me go ahead and play you guys that clip. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Beyonce <laughs> fucking with her because she see money. Beyonce ain't trying to give back the music and that. Beyonce don't write music and Betty can sing her motherfuckers. So Beyonce can't sing. I don't like Beyonce. Okay. She definitely can't I sing. I don't know why they be thinking she can sing. They just Man, I Beyonce. watched my God from a train. Beyonce she give her vocal lessons all her I career, man. Beyonce, Beyonce can't go. All she do is holler. Listen, Beyonce, she can sing. She not roll like that. I I I I'm gonna I'm say I'm I'm my unpopular opinion right, right now. Beyonce is to R and B what Jay Z is to New York. That's why they together. Jay Z ain't never won the the greatest rapper alive. Whoever whoever put him on a, a level of that. New York lost yeah. big. They needed a hero. They wanted to be the mega of, of, of hip hop, and they just handed it over to Jay Z. The record and all that. Oh, oh, Jay Z is and my favorite. Man. man, DMX was doing 10, 15 million albums, man. Most oh, definitely, because it definitely wasn't no damn Jay Z. Man, don't don't you know, I remember Jay Z like changed his name three, four times. So did. Yeah, yeah. The first he time y'all ever heard of Jay Z, he got on a record with some niggas from down south called Big Pippin. Yeah. Yeah. No, I heard him on the high Yeah. <laughs> and y'all, they'll tell y'all right now, oh, that's Jay-Z song. And you'll go Google and they'll say, yes, yeah, Jay-Z song. Right? The style put him on. But they ain't going to tell you Jay-Z bought the motherfucker song after the bitch got beat. Mm. That's UGK song, man. Yeah, so. Uh, well, that ain't, no, ain't no, nothing no, about no, that record. No, it's no, no East Coast, New York record. Nothing, nothing about that. Nothing. And no, what? Man, and then, and then at that time, Bit what paper. East Coast nigga came and got a nigga yeah. from the South to do a record with him, man? Right. But we got a fuck right. for that at least. That's uh, for a little bit. That's kind of hard. That's hard though. Yeah, I mean, oh. All right, so y'all just heard all that salt, honey, that Trick Daddy was throwing at Jay Z and you know Queen Beyonce, 
And so, of course, the beehive was not here for it. Y'all know the beehive is crazy as hell. You know your fan base is fucked up when Beyonce had to come out with a PSA. If y'all don't remember, a few years back, I believe this was 2016, Beyonce came out and told them to stop bullying people. And the Beehive literally told Queen Beyonce to mind her business that we're going to still protect you regardless if you like it or not. And they've done that. They have done this. And I think it's not so much protection, but, you know, borderline crazy. If you guys remember back in 2019, um, the owner of the Warriors, okay, the Golden State Warriors, Joe LaCobb, basically his wife was talking to Jay-Z and, you know, Beyonce was in the middle. Beyonce looked somewhat uncomfortable, okay? So the Beehive wasn't feeling it. And at the time, nobody knew that that was the warrior owner's wife. They thought it was just some groupie because they looked at her boots and they were like, okay, shiny boots, thigh highs equals slut, okay? Equals whore that's trying to get with King Jay-Z and disrespect the queen. So the Beehive attacked her. They attacked Golden State, uh, their Twitter page. They went on a rampage. And so one of her friends ended up posting a post and a lot of people were really mad at the beehive. And the lady, her name was Ramona Shelbourne. And Ramona says, just spoke to Nicole Curran, that was the woman, the wife of the Warriors owner, Joe LaCobb, about the incident with Beyonce last night. She was in tears. She says she's been getting death threats on social media all night. This morning, she had to disable her IG account just to make it stop. So a lot of people are really upset, like y'all took it too far. This is insane. This makes no sense. Um, they're like, you know, she did nothing wrong and you guys are just attacking her because Beyonce's face, because Beyonce didn't look happy. Beyonce never came out and said attack this woman, never said this woman was trying to creep with Jay-Z. Just because her face was not a happy face, folks attacked her, right? So we all know the Beehive has issues. So of course, I don't know what Trick Daddy was thinking. They're gonna attack this millionaire's wife you think they're not going to come for you, Trick Daddy dollars, child? So they went to Trick Daddy's Yelp page and left all types of horrible reviews. I mean, it was ridiculous. I did not agree with that. His rating dropped from like a 4 to a 2.6 on Google. After they flooded him, they were writing things like disgusting food. Seriously, though, the service was so bad. The food was so subpar. Definitely do not recommend this restaurant. They can't even sing. And then they put the little beehive emoji to let Trick Daddy know that, th that this is coming from the beehive. Somebody else wrote, the food was appalling. I've never in my life tasted such filth. The lemonade, on the other hand, was quite divine. So they had jokes, but they tore this man's Yelp page down which I don't think is okay because at the end of the day, this, this is his business outside of music, you know, and to tear down, you know, his livelihood, I think that's taking it a bit too far. But a lot of these fandoms, they do stuff like this. It's crazy. So then Trick Daddy ended up doubling down on it and he went to explain and basically said like, hey, this is my opinion. I don't care. I don't think Beyonce can sing like a Mariah Carey or a Whitney Houston. And then he also went on to give Chris Brown props and say that he was the closest thing to Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay, y'all go ahead and listen to this real quick. Beyonce, the number one performer I've ever seen besides of Michael Jackson and Chris Brown. Can she sing? Yeah. She can't sing. She ain't in my top. Beyonce ain't Stephanie Mills. She ain't Patti LaBelle. She ain't Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey. She might be your Whitney Houston. That's my opinion. I told my homeboys, oh, Chris Brown is on the level of Michael Jackson. They like, you crazy, you disrespecting the king. I'm telling you something I feel, and I'm telling you something that Michael Jackson told Chris Brown himself. Mike was a fan of Chris Brown. That's huge. Keep up the work, Breezy. A lot of people don't like Drake. Do I think Drake is my favorite rapper in the world? No, everybody know my so you guys just heard him doubling down. So then after that, they kept hitting up his page. They kept attacking him. Then he ran to Mark Lamont Hill's page. Um, he did a quick interview with Mark, with Mark Lamont Hill. And this is what he had to say on that interview with Mark. Check this out say to the beehive because i see the beehive out there i see your instagram is in shambles every post you done made is filled with with pictures of bees and comments of people talking about you what is what uh, is your beehive, message finally to the beehive? beehive i wish y'all was supporting me as much i saw that i saw a lot of records never got nominated for no awards i ain't crying about it but um as far as the beehive good support man good 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 good, good y'all doing but i grew up with roaches 
I'm more, I'm, I'm more afraid of roaches than bees. So then after that, Trina came out. Now, this was so funny because Trina came flying out with the cape to show Beyonce love because she didn't want to be attached to Trick Daddy's foolishness. And she posted this video and she says, all day, every day, the queen. Then she put a crown and a little bee emoji. Um, I mean, that's cool. But Trina really didn't even have to speak on the situation because it had nothing to do with her. I wouldn't even give props because I don't think Beyonce has ever given Trina props, nor have, ever, nor have I ever seen Beyonce and even a picture with Trina. I might be wrong, but when I Googled Trina and Beyonce, nothing came up. Now, we have seen Beyonce with Nicki Minaj. They've done the song together. We've seen Beyonce with Cardi B. We've seen Beyonce with Meg Thee Stallion. They're, you know, they're, I'm a savage, honey. That shit went viral. I've never seen Beyonce ever acknowledge Trina. So I wouldn't even acknowledge this situation if I was her. But you know, I'm, you know, she, she, and I am me. Okay. So then after that, this morning, Trick Daddy took to his radio show to talk about all the drama that went down yesterday. And this is what he had to say on his radio show. Y'all go ahead and check this out. When I when I get on Clubhouse, a lot of my Clubhouse family, a lot of us, we, we crack jokes and we talk stuff about, to each other. But mostly we do, we do a lot of venting and we do a lot of uh, mind, you know, mind contributing about how we can make you know the world, the country, our cities, our homes better. They're gonna never record that. But what I said was, I don't think Beyonce could sing, and that Beyonce is to R and B what Jay Z is to the state of hip hop in New York at the time when Jay Z was began considering himself as the king of hip hop, the king of the goat of our um, rap. Which is my opinion. And opinions like buttholes. Without them you'd be full of doodle. That's my unpopular opinion. Who are you? How you feel? If you got to walk around here worrying about. How somebody else feel about how you feel. Then you ain't who you are. That's my opinion. I said many times on the radio. Oh, they're wonderful business people. Jigga made a lot of money. He got a whole lot of money. But did I say anything disrespectful? No. Did I call them out of their names? No, I didn't. But, well, before I said that to, to a lot of females because they love Beyonce, I said she the lady Jesus Christ to them, which is not a bad thing. Actually, that's a compliment. But Jesus Christ is a powerful, loving person. But if you got a problem with being speaking your own mind, and I was a sucker. I apologize. <laughs> I ain't him. That's not me. That ain't what I do. All right. So you guys just heard what Trick Daddy Dallas had to say. First of all, I'm gonna need 99 the Jams Miami to get him a better chair. All that squeaking and squawking came from him rocking back and forth in the chair. Y'all need to oil the chair or get him another chair. Y'all got to do something. We need to do something with this budget, okay? So his whole thing is he's entitled to his opinion and he didn't say anything disrespectful. And I do have to agree that he's definitely entitled to his opinion. And I think the scary thing about this whole situation. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the next video.